very professional, which is why I'm going to look at my Twitter right now and pretend that I'm super popular. <laughs> no. Actually, let's take a look at one of these Reddit links you sent it. <laughs> oh my god. They're kaiju. How did they go anywhere? Why is he carrying a backpack? Why is he carrying a backpack? Why is he carrying a backpack? Tell me. What's all this? Oh, it's voice actors. Fair enough. Fair enough. They have a voice actors character. So weird. Because, cause, like, Volcano High is entirely about the voice acting, in a way. They're kind of one of the redeeming qualities. It's so weird to imagine them doing it for a Snoop game, though. Little Diddy made for a Fang Ren of the Annex. Also a thing I might want to do. You want to know what my problem right now is with, um... Amalgam High. And it's kind of a big problem that's bothering me. I don't know what the fuck... <sighs> I feel like I'm making Anon to too much of a prick for how much he's been in the first two chapters. The problem with Anon is that he's a very delicate balance, especially in a world like the Amalgam High itself, because he wouldn't be quite as rough around the cheeks. It's like I have to read up on my own fucking character. Like, what the fuck are you doing, Safi? You, you goober. You absolute clown. You read up on your fucking characters. How, how dumb are you? How stupid are you? I have to read my own stuff. I mean, to be honest, that's kind of what happened with Call Me Fang once I did the big rewrite twice. It's a delicate balancing act. Because he's surrounded by people he doesn't like. But he also should be like... <sighs> Anon is a fucking loser. He hates everyone. But he also doesn't want to show it. But he also would gladly just find out a way to get out of everyone's hair if possible. Kind of a weird combination of traits. Alright, we're just gonna follow the plot as it goes along. The next day I was about ready for school when Fang stopped me at the door. I told her I was fine, but when I cr <laughs> But when I crumbled after she poked my rich cage, I decided that she had a compelling argument to stay. Fang and I ended up just watching movies and playing Xbox all day. How does school not call you about this? I don't think I've ever seen Fang this morose, though. Luckily, she won't shoot the school this time. Don't want to pry too much, even if we're dating now. Although I have a distinct hunch it's related to the band and Trish. Today, though, I bit my tongue through Fang's chest poke test, and she let me go. I know she'd stay the day before to keep an eye on me, but she still didn't want to go today. I made her promise not to start preening again before I left. I know picking up a missed homework will cheer her right up. Now that I've finally got some time to myself, I can probably just something I've been meaning to. The alarms. <clears> How <throat> oh, did I go from being never being in a relationship to having a chick over my place in less than two days? Well, there's a lot more to it, buddy. There's a lot more to it, buddy. Oh, fuck. If anybody finds out... Fang's father, now Sir Trish, and... Oh, collectively splattering me on a wall. Yeah, that that is the group. <laughs> Maybe Spears, if you fuck up enough. It's not like I can ask for advice, either. The only people I can ask are all hopelessly single, probably living off of government benefits. My heartbeat is doing... doing <laughs> my heartbeat is doing Fang's chest poke test from the inside. Oh. My RB doing Fang's chest poke test from the inside is a good indicator. I need to calm the fuck down. That line could use a read, right? Just get through today and check out some romance mag on the way home. Do, do, will you do that? Like, you walk to school, man. School's as rowdy as ever. Somehow, nobody confronts me about the events of two days ago. Oh, man. People here move on fast. Maybe I should take the side route. Getting bummed would probably feel like getting gored. It's a roundabout way to reach my locker, but I got plenty of time. There you are. I turn to see NASA pushing through the crowds of students towards me. What is on my screen? Is that a blubble? Oh, that's a blubble. Ah, there's a blubble on my screen. Ew. At least I can talk to him about the whole situation. Or I can ask him advice on how to handle Fang. Wait. NASA's sister, Fang. The Fang who skipped school to spending all day in my apartment. And never went home for the past two days. I suddenly feel like a fish being circled by a very NASA-shaped snark. How do I even begin to explain it to him? Uh, hey, NASA! What's up? NASA grabs me by the jacket and shoves me against the wall of lockers. Ah, my everything! 
Where the hell is Fang? Wow, I can... She ditched you the other day and hasn't come back since. Do you know what I've had to put up with because of you? Everything you do with Fang is my fault for letting it happen. You're lucky she texted me yesterday. Dad is about ready to file a missing person report for her. Look, NASA, let me explain. Better, before I drag your ass home and make it, you tell it to my dad instead. The terrifying prospect is enough to make me pause. I can stay in my apartment, but... NASA's eyes shoot up like it's the one answer you didn't want to hear. L let me finish. But it was her idea after I fucked up my chest during an express dip down the stairs. She wanted to make sure it was alright and wouldn't take no for an answer. Nasa sighs and releases my clothes with a scowl stays on his face. Is that all that happened to Anon? I mean, we played some video games, but all that happened. Oh, I don't, oh we didn't do anything, if that's what you mean. Mm, I swear I couldn't even kiss because of the stupid bruise. What? Oh, I'm going to get shoved in my locker again. I like that Anon has an emote that is called foot. <laughs> and it's him getting hit in the foot. It's called foot. Well, what do you need? I hiss in pain as Nasa's fist press me against the locker. Why would Fang kiss you? I don't, I swear to Raptor Jesus. I told Fang I like her. Shit. Said that out loud. Nasa freezes, and the color drains from his face, if that's even possible. I'm pretty sure those are feathers, not skin, so it wouldn't be as visible, really. Can dogs blush? Then he shoves me back into the lockers as hard as he can. At this point, my heart is impaled by my sternum. A few students start turning their heads. Nasa's still frozen in place, staring at his outstretched hand with a thousand-yard stare. Hilarious. <laughs> I could visibly see Nasa's thought process on his face as he finally comprehends our current situation. No, oh, no, I, uh... As he regains control of his legs and hurriedly rushes through the crowds, he starts pushing aside a few students. Is something going on here? here. Oh, it's skipping through certain transitions, I see. Oh, so that was, that was what it does, I guess. Sorry about that, but don't worry. Every time I hear, like, background ambience, I immediately think of the Super Mario uh, All-Stars cartridge for the SNES, where it starts off with a hey or bum He regains control of his legs and hurriedly rushes through the crowds, pushing aside a few students. One or two classmates stare at me again, then continue on their way. While I'm checking for any more broken bones, my phone buzzes. <sighs> Did you get beat up yet? That was the moment where Nasa realized Anon can't be his! Oh no! Poor boy! Oh no! On another related matter, have you spoken with Nasa recently? I told him I was staying here yesterday, but I haven't checked his responses. Why, didn't you mean to kill him or something? <laughs> I love the fucking... Not yet. Just like it would be a good idea to get in touch with him when you feel like it. I might feel like it after I stop raiding your fridge. Die! <laughs> Glad to know she's still holding up. Shit, now I'm not going to have enough soda to last the week. I'll worry about that when I get home. April 1st. April Fools! Fang and I have been together for a month now. Oh, that's where we stopped. This was pretty fun, not gonna lie. Note for multi anon God help me. Feel <laughs> my pain, bitch. But then what is this massive segment that happens? We skip all of this on the... On the... What? So if you don't go on ending one or two, 
One, one or three or four, you skip a huge segment. What? Hold on. What is all this? Mo? What? What ending is this? Fucking Mo. There's a massive Mo segment I'm just not gonna see? What? Yeah, I don't know if it's a massive Mo segment. I just saw his name and went, that's pretty neat. Jesus fucking Christ. I thought I missed something, but no. Ending 2 just doesn't do any of this. This is nothing. Nothing. Change genres to genders. Oh, this is like a whole backstory that I'm going to learn eventually. If wings... What the fuck is wing story? Oh, that's if, if, if uh, Fang tells the story of the wing. But that's mending things, and I think that requires us to get the good anon points. So we're probably going to get that one anyway. Sweet motherfucking Jesus. So basically, ending two gets nothing. You get nothing. Jesus. No. Yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious. Fuck. Well, uh, so yeah, I didn't actually skip anything. We, we were good to go.